What's going on, scum prisoners? Hope you've been protecting that soap. This video is going to be about the C3 base located at the north of C3. This site has a couple of office trailers spread out. There are a good amount of bushes and trees that you can hide and really loot the look of the site. There's a small bunker, an admin building, a couple more office trailers, and a couple of dorms. There are a couple of boxes outside, pretty easy to loot. You'll notice with this base, it has one mech guarding the main bunker entrance, and it is on a single path. It literally just walks towards the door and away from the door, making this one of the easiest bases to get into. We're going to go ahead and approach on the west side of the base. From the west side, we're going to go straight into these bushes. and hop down and right into the front door. Really as easy as that. He's got about 12 seconds walking away from the bunker door, so as long as you time it right, you could even just walk right in. This bunker includes one office, four lab offices, two armories, one lab, one control room, one large control room, four restrooms, three storage, and one exam room. Like I've said in my other videos, make sure you check the filing cabinets in this laboratory because you will find padlocks in there. The office lab actually is a good spot for bandages as well as padlocks. The exam rooms are a little hit and miss. You can find bandages in there as well as clothing. That's about it. Always check the restrooms, especially if you're looking for a hiking backpack or a backpack in general. The smaller control room is still a good place to look for padlock. Because of the size of this base, you'll notice that there'll be a lot more solo player bases located around it, so just be mindful that you might find a single person camping in a corner somewhere. Although there aren't that many armories, I have found really good loot in these armories, so definitely come here for that. Like I've said in my other videos, these large control rooms are great for padlocks. I find padlocks in here up to about 10 to 15 at a time. I definitely recommend hitting that room. Restrooms and storage rooms really are kind of hit and miss, mostly clothing, sometimes water and food in the storage rooms. Make sure you check every desk and every filing cabinet in this area because you will be happy with the loot. If this video has been at all helpful for you, please give it a like. That way I know that you guys are enjoying this video and that it is providing value. If you want to see more, subscribe and turn on that notification button. It really helps me out, and it also helps the channel grow. These offices actually have a good chance of padlocks. you got to look at every box, every filing cabinet, and every desk. If you time it perfectly, you can get out of the hatch. I just personally prefer going out of the bunker door. So if you have to go through the hatch, good luck. Bunker door is the easiest way out. This base is definitely a good solo player raiding base. You could raid with two and come out with a decent amount of loot, but you can get a full inventory with a single player. So getting out of this base, it's really simple. You're just going to walk behind him as he's walking away. These bushes, since the patch, allow you to hide inside them without him seeing you. I'm going to go ahead and demonstrate that right now with this bush. Notice he has turned heading back towards my direction and he's still not aggroed from me being in the vicinity. 
keeping this bush in between us, I'm going to go ahead and walk out. And that's the easiest way to raid the C3 North military bunker. Thank you for watching. You know, I've been getting a lot of questions on stream about scum, so I'm planning on making a lot of more videos. If you liked the video, thank you very much. If you subscribed, you're awesome. Hit that bell notification if you want to see the new videos coming out. Also, if there's anything specific you want to see, leave a comment below.